Ushuaia in Argentina is the world's most southerly city and the capital of Tierra del Fuego province. It's the last stop before Antarctica, just over a thousand kilometers away and is commonly known as the end of the world. It boasts some breathtaking scenery down from the Andes over the busy port and into the Southern Ocean. It's become the starting point for many Antarctic adventures, and as elsewhere in Argentina, the locals love their sport, with rugby union and football amongst the most popular pursuits. However, the city's main claim to sporting fame has come courtesy of golf. 14 kilometers out of town and set in spectacular surroundings is Ushuaia Golf Club, which lays claim to being the southernmost golf course in the world. We're very proud that the most southerly golf course in the world is here in Ushuaia. The course is a great challenge to get around because you can be playing in a variety of different conditions. It can be cold, windy, rainy, and sometimes it even snows. The club was built over 20 years ago after some local players decided that a 600 kilometer trip to Punta Arenas in Chile was too far for a round of golf. Covering just under 5,000 yards, the two loops of nine holes lie at the foot of the Andean Marshall Mountain Range. Strong winds whip in off the Southern Ocean, making Ushuaia a pretty demanding course to play. In fact, in the club's first three years, not one golfer, amateur or professional, managed a round under par here. There are now a number of trees to act as windbreaks, but making a birdie here remains a challenging prospect. The Ushuaia golf course is a beautiful one because of its natural surroundings. The mountains and the wind give it its own unique personality and make it really difficult to play well. But that's why I love coming to play around here. It's always a challenge. There are no bunkers at Ushuaia because of the high winds and if you hit your ball into the bordering river Pipo, the current is so strong that later you'll be able to retrieve it from the river's mouth, some four kilometers away. It's an unusual course. The natural environment here means they have more than just the regular man-made hazards to think about. The wonderful landscape has a lot of hidden dangers for a golfer. The wind here is very strong. Even if you gauge every shot precisely, the ball might still not go where you want it to. Guillermo has been the club professional here since 1998, and he talked us through the course's signature hole, the 508-yard par 5 eighth. OK, so here we are on the tee for the eighth hole, which is the most difficult one here at the golf club. It's a huge challenge, but let's give it a go. From here, I'm going to aim to play a simple shot to the fairway up ahead. It's not a long shot, but because of the wind, it could be quite difficult. OK, now we have about 140 yards left to go to the green. Usually this shot wouldn't be difficult, but because we're playing over the river with a strong wind, it could be quite tough. Perfect, on the green.
One went bad. A good part. I didn't sink it, but it's okay. I'll still make a par, and on this hole, that's a good result, especially with the high wind we've had. The club is almost two and a half thousand kilometers from Argentina's capital, Buenos Aires, but it still managed to attract some famous names. Roberto Di Vincenzo, the 1967 Open champion and the club's patron, played the inaugural tournament here. Ushuaia hosts a number of local competitions, including the End of the World Open. It doesn't charge a joining fee. Membership is open to everyone, and at the moment the club has around 140 members. The club has always been open to everyone, no matter what their personal or financial background is. It's very much a club where anyone with a passion for the game of golf is always welcome. The reason we don't charge a joining fee is that we want to encourage as many people as possible to play. We emphasize this and hopefully we can continue to do this. The region's climate means that golf at Ushuaia is very much a seasonal pursuit. The club opens from November to May due to the ground being frozen during the winter months. With the help of the local provincial government, plans are now afoot to further develop the club, with an additional nine holes being built to make it a standard 18-hole course. Ushuaia is also working on introducing golf to local schools with the aim of broadening its appeal and safeguarding its future. I'd love everyone who plays golf, both locally and internationally, to come and take up the challenge of playing the most southerly course in the world. It's unlike other traditional clubs, and we hope that in the future more people will come and enjoy the unique landscape that this course has to offer. So if you're the sort of golfer who likes to get off the beaten track and try something different, then Ushuaia could well be the one for you.